Hi, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech Team. In this tutorial, we will look at how to present the SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer in Stereo 3D using the Mod Stereo 3D software. So, how can you achieve this? This tutorial will teach you how to do it in just a few minutes. Download Mod Stereo 3D from Mod3D.com. You will find it in Products, Downloads. As soon as the download finishes, install Mosterio 3D. Simply follow the instructions on screen. It only takes about a minute. Please reboot your computer after installing Mosterio 3D. You will notice two new icons on your desktop. Double-click the Mosterio 3D shortcut to start the Mosterio 3D software. See the new tray icon right next to your system time. Right-clicking it reveals a context menu. Please select More 3D Stereo Enabler. This small app lets you choose which application to convert to Stereo 3D. By clicking the Locate Known Apps button, the Mosterio 3D Enabler checks your standard program folders for known applications. This, of course, includes your installation of the SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer. All I need to do now is click the Enable checkbox. My SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer is now enabled to work in Stereo 3D. If the More 3D Stereo Enabler did not find your SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer installation correctly, please click the link located at the bottom of the More Stereo 3D Enabler. It will open your browser and go to more3d.com. Select SAP Enterprise Viewer in the left list and see a written guide of how to enable it manually. Now that the SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer is enabled, it's time to select our output device. Therefore, right-click the more Stereo 3D tray icon and select Properties. Here you have a rich selection of output devices. Select OpenGL Quad Buffer to let your graphics board handle the output generation. It's mostly useful for DLP and active devices. Select Side-by-Side -side Horizontal Span. It's best used with an AMD Affinity or NVIDIA Mosaic group. Select Side-by-Side -side NMOV 3D TV for most active 3D TVs. Use Side-by-Side -side Geometry Correction for a geometrically corrected Side-by-Side -side output. See the Geometry Correction tab. Select OpenASD for most auto-stereoscopic displays and passive 3D displays. See the OpenASD tab to make the choice of your displaying device. Use Anaglyph or Color Code 3D to turn any normal monitor into a 3D stereo monitor. For demonstration purposes, I will be setting to Anaglyph mode now. Now that we have everything configured, it's time to start the SAP Visual Enterprise Viewer. I'll just load some model and first I'll make sure that I have selected OpenGL as my display renderer. As soon as OpenGL is selected, you will instantly see that Anaglyphic Stereo is out of the box available. I can rotate my model, I can do whatever I like with it. For instance, I can use this function here and let it play animations of how to construct this product. Of course, I can also adjust the 3D effect by pressing the star key on the numpad. It will display the in-app 3D control panel, which allows me to increase or decrease the stereo depth. Mos Stereo 3D supports all your 3D devices. Here is an 
example of 3D visualization for line interlaced passive 3D stereo displays. This is an example for 3D TVs, which accept a side-by-side -side input signal. And here is an example for full resolution side-by-side -side stereo best used with NVIDIA Mosaic or AMD Affinity groups. Even 3D output for glasses-free 3D displays is possible with the more stereo 3D software. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And don't forget to check back regularly to the More3D YouTube channel and More3D.com for the latest news, tutorials and everything about Stereo 3D.